old news that matters to Northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be joined once again by Vermont food blogger Nancy Mock. Her website is hungryenoughtoeat6.com, and today she's showing off some sweet treats that are fit for spring. It's finally, finally starting to feel a little more like spring out there. Yeah. Easter's just a couple of weeks away, mm -hmm. and I can see any one of these or all of these on the dinner table. Yeah. Easter. It could be for a, a brunch or your Easter dinner dessert or anything like that. Yeah. It was fun coming up with some spring desserts. Um, the snow on Saturday was a little brutal, so it was nice to have this going on inside. <laughs> yeah. To see the color. Go. Yeah. So um, to make the spring cakes, I was trying to play with a lot of bright colors and some fun kind of lively flavors mm -hmm. um, to come up with the spring cake. So this first one here is a spring chicks cake with coconut and lemon. Um, it's a layer cake with white cake and a buttercream. In the center, along with the buttercream, is lemon marmalade, so there's a nice sharp uh, lemon oh. taste in there. And this green grass on top is coconut, that's been dyed green, with some buttercream chicks on top. Those chicks are so cute. And I tell <laughs> you, you brought like a package of um, uh, peeps. Of peeps. Too. Just to say that if you're not comfortable trying to make the peeps, the frosting chicks, you could just put your own peeps on top. But they, I wasn't uh, trying to be too fancy with them. I was just having fun with them. They're so, so adorable. I think them. that's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> so you just kind of <coughs> did the frosting in, in a little circle. Yeah, in a piping motion. bag. If you don't have pipe piping bag, you could do a Ziploc bag with a corner snipped off to okay. snip it out. And then I found a sprinkle set that had animal shapes. So that's where I got the beak and the eyes. That's genius. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought of that. So cute. cute. And the coconut, do, do you buy it green or you no, add food coloring? No, just add food, put it in a Ziploc bag, add food coloring, and mush it up. And it, it changes pretty quickly. Easy. Cool. Yeah. All right, and this one. This okay. one is a welcome spring cake. Um, there, it's this robin's egg blue color. It's a white cake inside with this really great extract that I got from King Arthur Flower called Fiore de Cecilia. It has a really light citrusy flavor to it, so Ooh. the whole cake is flavored with that. Yeah. Um, and then I just reformed it. This, and if you can see it, this flower on top. Um, the inside is multicolored, so when I slice it um, for the next time, it will be able to see the color on the inside. Fun. Yeah. Very cool. All right, we have just under two minutes left okay. here, so let's get to this cupcakes. So these cupcakes in front here are Easter surprise cupcakes. Um, got my inspiration by wandering down the Easter di display aisle in the grocery store. It's just a simple yellow cupcake with this um, green frosting on top and these little bitty rabbits that I found, which yes. are these Russell Stover itty bitty bunnies, which I thought were cute. Nice. And on the inside is the surprise. Drum roll. <laughs> Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters. 